No, no, no. Well, we're gonna put it up on YouTube, but hey, we're just uh, having fun out here. Oh. Hey, puppies! <laughs> Devin and I are out in Crossroads, Texas, and we pulled a little stealth mission to get into this neighborhood. We kind of just waited until a resident got in the gate, and we followed him in. And we're gonna try and fish this little private access pond in here. We've got stuff to fish for all kinds of goodies today. We brought a little micro setup for some bluegill. I don't know what's in here. We brought a bigger catfish setup, and then you know we got a bunch of casting setups for the bass too. I think I'm gonna start off with uh, the fluke with a two watt hook, just weightless, and then this jig right here, black and blue finesse. Cinch the Palomar knot down, 17 pound fluorocarbon. She's got one. It's on. Okay, we're good to go. Devin says I need to catch a bluegill though before I go for bass, so maybe we'll have some bobber fun real quick. I hadn't even rigged up any of the casting stuff for uh, turned on the GoPro yet, and Devin's already got a little bluegill. Actually, a decent sized bluegill, I think. Where'd you get him on? Hot dog. First fish in just minutes out here. Okay, first cast, $5 Walmart rod. Oh, and it's a casting rod too, so it's like upside down with this right here. Nope, it's it's the grass. Oh, got him. <laughs> He's fighting. He's fighting. Feisty little guy. Oh gosh. Or is he a big guy? He's decent sized. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Start with a moving bait real quick, or I say moving. It's just not super still. All right, out there in the corner. Oh, there was something that just burst, probably a turtle. <laughs> right here by our feet. Well, that was a simple hook set. There we go. Just had to give it a little pop first one of the night. This is a skinny guy. Really skinny. What the heck? Extremely skinny. Super weird. Anyways, I'm gonna let him go. He was hungry. That was pretty fast. Oh, crack and crawl down. I let him have it for too long. He nibbled off one of the pinchers gonna have to switch it up right away but I told you this thing was about on its last leg get it switch over to the bandito bug with some fresh scent ain't nothing wrong with that always recycle kids try not to leave your plastics all over we want to represent but in the right way keep them Guggen baits in your pocket so what I'm gonna do since this is a finesse jig and a little bit shorter of a hook is I'm not gonna use this whole bandito bug because that would be a little overkill. I'm gonna chop her down to just past the, uh, I think just past the first pinchers. All right, fresh scent separated the pinchers. The skirt is cut in such a way that it is not interfering with the back legs from causing all that commotion in the water. You guys, if you have your jigs and uh, you haven't modified them and your skirt comes way down here like where the flippers are it's going to interfere with the action of those flippers on the bottom of whatever bait you're using so you want to cut that skirt to where it won't interfere with your uh, plastic and in this case I just kind of chopped the plastic down to where it would be roughly the appropriate length for the pinchers on the bandito bug so I kind of reverse engineered it got to be one under this tree here we go, right along these rocks. Got a good feeling about this spot. Oh! Wow, I think we just had a fish swim in it. I figured I'd just have fun and catch little guys out here today on our Memorial Day weekend. So I got this little Walmart setup. It's like a $5 rod and reel combo and uh, got a little bobber, a little weight, a little hook and some hot dogs. So you can't go wrong with that and have a little fun. Set your drag down real low and let them take it. It's a lot of fun.
How many did you get? Okay, we walked the whole thing. I think this pond is more suited to a chatterbait, but uh, sun's getting low. I think I'm gonna try top water for a minute and see if there's any big ones in here that want to hit tonight on the whopper plopper. Hmm. Well, I'm either gonna try the other side with the fluke, or maybe we'll move to the other pond at the front of this neighborhood and give it 15 minutes before the sun goes completely down. It's 8:11 p.m. currently. Y'all, we just pulled up to the second pond of the neighborhood. I'm gonna give the same stuff a try, but also incorporate a little chatterbait action and see if the grass is the same over here. If we can, just avoid getting caught up in all of it. So, wish us luck. Okay, starting off at the second pond. Devin's throwing the chatterbait. I'm gonna throw this fluke again. I think we're gonna have some luck. That's a big fish, Devin. Got him. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> Dang, it's fat. Is it really? Well, I'm using a decent sized bait, uh, but I think there's bigger ones. We've seen some big wakes over here. First one out of this pond, y'all. We got it on the uh, white chatter bait, and we fished the whole bank along this side nothing really but i saw a couple big ones potentially that kind of got scared away from the bank and i figured all right well let's just try and uh, walk the whole deal and i was just casting along it casting along it and then this one bit right there just after the cast i mean he hit it hard and he tried to take me into the grass right here luckily we got him out though and uh we met some residents that say this is one of the biggest ones they've seen out of this pond so we're excited we're gonna put him back and try and get something maybe even a little bigger off he goes holy smokes that's like Lake Texomas or something like that. <laughs> that's the striper. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big old boy. Yeah, I caught, I caught about 10 of them oh out my of uh, Alberta Creek in yeah. at Texoma. Really? Yeah, and that's like a, that's a big one even for that lake, I think. Yeah, thanks for stopping by and saying hi. You too. Yeah, fat. Oh, oh, another. Oh, he's a flopper! This one might be even bigger! God dang! This one's even bigger! Oh my gosh, Devin, you gotta throw the chatterbait. Oh god! Guys, we just got the second one on the chatterbait. Just came off the wall, same as the first. Look at that thing, that hook set. We tore him up. I don't think this fish has ever been caught before. The way they're going after this brightly colored chatterbait is just pretty crazy. Not quite as fat as the last one, but I would say a heavier fish nonetheless. Big old boy, check that sucker out. Let's get the second one back in the water and uh, try and go for lucky number three. Oh yeah, they're like over here feeding on stuff like right in this grass edge. Well y'all, I don't know what to say. I had a pretty awesome outro <laughs> done for you guys, but I don't know where it went. I can't find it on this memory card. I don't know if it's on one of the GoPros actually. It's definitely gone. I don't have it at all. I was honestly, I was probably talking to the camera for like a whole couple minutes and just not filming or recording is what I mean because this one doesn't have a flip out screen. This new Sony A6400, and there's pros and cons to that. I actually like it a lot because I don't find myself looking at the screen all the time like I did on the Canon SL2. But then there's also the benefit of the SL2, which was I could see if I was in focus, out of focus, the exposure was right, and I need to adjust the shutter speed. I don't know how bright I am right now or how dark I am, so I'm just. You just got to assume the Sony's doing its thing. And anyways, I lost the outro for today's vlog. So this is the new outro. I hope you guys dug it. We had some fun. If I go back there, I don't really even care about fishing that big pond. All I caught was that one skinny little bass. But I might hit that one near the entrance of the place, assuming we can follow another resident and, and get inside the gate. But until that happens, I'm going to try and put together a couple other different videos for you guys. Drop a comment down below and tell me what you guys want to see. And I'll definitely try and do some, uh, some videos of the content you guys would like to see the most so drop your suggestions down below peace <gasps>